She's not quite as uh, maybe elite fronted as you compare to that heifer that won the class, but just a big, powerful, bold one. A heifer that uh, tends to just get up on those pasterns ever so slightly when on, when she's on the move, but, but a good, powerful, big kind of heifer there to be third. Heifer that comes out next certainly gives up some weight per day of age as you evaluate her compared to that one ahead of her. But this one is, this is a good heifer. She's made right to one that just doesn't have as much power as you compare to those cattle above her, but a, but a, but a good looking one with some eye appeal. And then the young lady that rounds out the class, here's a heifer that's just a little bit frailer made, one that probably hasn't had a feed pan in front of her quite as much as some of these other cattle, but there's some, some design in this one that you'd like. She's sleek necked. Um, she's, she's one that's got some length of body and some levelness to her. So a nice set of heifers. Well, congratulations to our class winner and class two of our spring heifer calves, Ms. Ivy Fields with KLD Ivory 331 LET. Second place, Riata Heck with KB Emerald 21 L. Third place is Kennedy Gordon. Fourth place, Ariel Elliott. And in fifth place, Bailey Danson. Now entering the ring is class three, born June 3rd through June 26th. Take this opportunity to introduce our premier sponsor for the Cattlemen's Congress. Visit Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is the modern frontier and is proud to support Cattlemen's Congress. To find out more about all there is to do in OKC, visit visitokc.com.
Pick up your official Cattlemen's Congress merchandise from the Cattlemen's Collection Store located in the Super Barn near the Sale Arena. The collection is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Folks, another really good set of heifer calves here and just an outstanding group of kids. I mean, you watch these kids put these cattle together and, and get them presented to us. And boy, they're out here hustling. And uh, even the ones that have a little bit of help, uh, I mean, they're they're giving it all they have. And I we, we really appreciate just the, just the work and the dedication here. Getting into these cattle, two nice heifers here at the, at the top of this class. We really like this heifer to, to lead off. One that we think has a distinct advantage when you evaluate her right there in her heart and flank compared to the heifer in second. A heifer that really holds her top together better on the move than the heifer in second. If you if you want to really get picky on this one, we thought she could be just a touch softer in those pastures when you evaluate her on the move. But that's a really good looking, nice balanced heifer that has plenty of power in her. Young man's heifer there in second. This is a longer bodied one. She's bigger framed as well. Uh, this is a heifer that is a bit softer as she moves around the ring with some with some flexibility about her. We'd certainly like to keep have her hold that top line together a bit more on the move, but uh, this is a good heifer, young man, to be second. Congratulations. As we move into the third, another heifer that's got some balance. A nice presentation on this one. A heifer that really just gives up some power and some body and some dimension when you evaluate her compared to that heifer in second, but another high-quality heifer there to be third. Moving along here, young man with a white shirt brings out just a powerful one uh, when, you, when you evaluate this heifer. She's stout, she's big boned, uh, but one that just gives up some style and, and some, some flash when you compare to the others there on the profile, but a good heifer. Young lady follow, follow, leading out the, the heifer in class here at the end, uh, really stylish kind of a heifer calf. This one's upheaded. She's sleek neck. She's good looking. Nice hair coat on that heifer. But in terms of weight per day of age, she's certainly giving up some power, but a nice female. Well, congratulations to our class winner out of class three, Hudson Greenfield. In second place, Jace Cunningham with JLC Cherry Blossom. And in third place, Seth. Safira Upper Grove Vaughn. In fourth place, Clayton Rolla, Rolla. And in fifth place, Cameron Brown. Entering the ring now is class four. Calves born from March 13th through March 30th. This is our last class before we show for champion and reserve champion spring heifer calf.
I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce one of our platinum sponsors for the Cattlemen's Congress, P and Clay Equipment, your trusted John Deere dealer with over 20 locations across Oklahoma and Arkansas. The P and K is proud to support Cattlemen's Congress. Visit pnkequipment.com for top-notch agricultural solutions. P and K Equipment, powering your success in the heart of the cattle country. Well, another good class and uh, three interesting heifers here at the top. And I'm going to admit, 
these things aren't acting the best, and it took us a while to kind of sort through them and get get a decent look on, on all of these top three. And there's some differences here for sure. Really complete kind of a heifer that's going to win this class. And we'll certainly say we, you know, it took us a, a bit to just get a good look at this one, but just really powerful and bold. Why don't you just move this heifer on the profile just a little bit more, if you would. Just a really powerful, bold kind of a heifer. This is the one that's set up high on her shoulder when you evaluate the way her neck is tied in. She's super complete, nicely balanced, level top, moves good. And this one is put together, folks. Uh, whoever got this one ready this morning uh, was hustling. So this is a really nice female to start the class. And, and uh, we really like this one once we got a look at her. Here's a, here's a heifer that probably hit us pretty hard when she walked in the ring. This is one that's long-bodied. She's stout. She's good-looking. Um, a heifer that maybe doesn't move quite as good as the, as the one that we have ahead of her. Um, but, uh, and she doesn't tie into her neck quite as high. But this is a really nice – oh, good job, sweetheart. Really nice heifer there to be second to one that we liked a great deal. There was a dark red heifer here kind of rolling this other direction. We'll all follow her along. This is a really good looking one, folks. Sleek neck, good looking, level topped. A heifer that maybe is a little bit more refined in the way that she's made. We like the sweep of her belly, but this is one that's maybe just has a little less muscle, but attractive, easy to look at, nice kind of a female. Now we get into this next group, and this is a smaller, smaller frame kind of a heifer, but one that's complete. She's big bodied. She's big top. She's got some some bone under her. This one is good enough looking. Uh, just a really good heifer there in the middle of our class. And the young men, as we roll out the, the tail end of this class, heifers that just don't have quite as much balance. Heifers that aren't quite as, as complete when you evaluate them. This heifer right here in front of me maybe gets a little bit broken topped. She gets under herself a little on the move. But uh, young man uh, t on, on the tail end of this class uh, just gives up some weight, uh, some performance, uh, maybe some stoutness and some eye appeal compared to some others. But he's done a bang-up job showing today, and congratulations to all of you. Well, congratulations to our class winner out of Class 4. First place, Riley White exhibiting T3C Emery. Second place, Legend Cooper with Legends Lady Gaga. Third place, Madeline Wolverton. Fourth place, Tessa Taylor. Fifth place, Jackson Terry. And in sixth place, Jet Gross. At this time, we'll bring in our class winners to exhibit for champion and reserve champion Spring Heifer Calf.
this time i'll introduce another one of our platinum sponsors for champions only the best will do prina honor child is the feed company that champions trust prina livestock feed is developed and trusted by industry leaders backed by decades of expertise but it doesn't stop there with more than 120 years of research driven solutions and 125 plus patents prina is backed by a legacy because champions deserve the best prina honor show where champions are made. To learn more, visit perinamills.com slash showfeed. Well, congratulations to all of you as you stand out here. And I think it, we just ought to recognize how good these cattle are and, and, and really even more importantly, how good these kids are here in this final drive. So if you would, a, a, a round of applause for the calf champions and reserves. Folks, what makes this fun is, uh, is certainly the opportunity to see good cattle, but, uh, but more importantly, the opportunity to see these incredible kids out here hustling and working, and, uh, and they've got some, a lot of help at home, and they've got some help out here in the ring, and this certainly appears to be a family affair. So uh, we won't talk through these cattle on our calf division. I'm going to have Fallon go out and, uh, and select the champion, and we'll take one more look uh, for reserve. So uh, congratulations. Congratulations to our division champion, Ivy Fields, out of the class two.
Also out of class two, our reserve division champion, Riata Heck. Now entering the ring is class five, our first class in our junior heifer calf division. Calves born from February 3rd to February 25th of 2023. Stay up to date with the latest news and information from Cattlemen's Congress with the official app. Find the complete schedule, class breaks, ring status, watch the show live, and so much more all from your phone. Download it today from the App Store or Google Play. Real nice pair of heifers here at the top of this class. 
This one is just ultra complete that wins. Uh, Heifer that's nicely balanced. Love the profile. The cutout that one gives you there on the profile. Get her on the move. And uh, she's probably the most fluid uh, of all the cattle in this ring, just in terms of being able to reach her stride and, and keep all those four legs pointing in the right direction. Here's one that's pl plenty deep, good looking, nice place to start. We like the young man's heifer there in second. Uh, this is a powerful one. She has some bones, some dimension, some ruggedness. She's good enough looking on the profile. A little more chest in that heifer, a little more dewlap, but uh, but just a really cowy kind of a female that's put together uh, really nice and just in terms of her design. The heifer rolling out here in third is one that's presented nicely today. A uh, heifer that really has some structural challenges as she moves around the ring. She gets up on those pasterns. That uh, that enables her to get up in her top line as well. Um, once she gets this one parked, she's pretty darn good looking, but we just have some structural things there to, to fix. Uh, and then rolling out the class here in fourth. Young man has a nice heifer. He gets her put together, um, just gives up some balance, some dimension, some power when you compare him to the cattle above. But uh, young man, nice heifer calf there to be fourth. Well, congratulations to our class winners out of class five. Number one, Willow Fields, exhibiting KLD Coco 356 LET. In second place, Jace Cunningham, exhibiting JLC My Lady Clementine. Third place, Kennedy Gordon. And in fourth place, Tate Taylor. Now entering the ring is class number six. The conclusion of this class will bring back in first and second from class five to show for champion and reserve champion junior heifer calf.
Another good set of four heifers out here. We'll leave uh, one and two the way they stand. The young lady with the with the red bow is going to win the class. And and we'll admit, when this one came in and she was acting kind of feisty, we didn't really love the way she was handling her top line. But uh, once we get her out here, she sort of settles down. This is the good looking one of the pair. This is heifer is really up headed. We like the way that she that head and neck tie into her shoulder. This is one that's ultra ultra level out of her hip. She has some nice sweep to her belly. This is really a good looking show heifer when you get her out here, get her stopped and get her collected when she's acting like she ought to act. Uh, the young lady with the black bow in her hair there is gonna be second. And this is a good heifer. This is a, a heifer that's just Hard to pick a, a lot of holes in one, but she doesn't have a lot of wow factor either. Uh, but a heifer that if we could draw her down in her flank ever so slightly and just pick her up in her pins and level out that hip a bit. Um, but this is a really complete, nice heifer there to be second. The young man, I know he can't even see me back there, but uh, he's got a good heifer and he's hustling hard to get her get her presented. Uh, one that maybe gives up uh, so, some some length of body when you compare to that heifer there in second. One that if you could all... all ultimately change that hawk design a little on the move uh, would help this heifer go a little better but uh, young man has done a nice job look at this young lady out here with a with a turquoise bow in her hair i mean she's hustling and this is a nice heifer one that's sleek necked and good looking she's just not as powerful as some of the other cattle that came out here but uh, but uh, but she's done a tremendous job showing her and i really appreciate the good work well, congratulations to our class winners out of class number six. In first place, Emma Kate Barado exhibiting BF Gemma. Second place, Westland Elliott exhibiting BR Darla May 135L. Third place, Tathan Garza. And in fourth place, Jaylee K. Duty. At this time, we'll bring in our first and second places out of our fifth class five and class six to exhibit for our division champion. Transova Genetics is a gold sponsor for the Cattlemen's Congress. At, Cat at Transova Genetics, we're empowering breeders to build a tomorrow that exceeds expectation. We provide a complete toolbox of services for you to create a legacy of excellence. Today's choices shape tomorrow's success. Choose Transova Genetics and leave a lasting legacy for the next generation. For a full list of locations, visit www.transova.com. Well, folks, four nice heifers out here in this division, and uh, there's one that comes out here and hits us pretty hard. Um, 
I'll tell you what, there's four good cattle out here, but when you can bring one out here that just sort of commands the ring like the one that we're going to use does, uh, that's certainly a compliment to the breeders and uh, and to the exhibitor that gets uh, gets this one put together. But uh, nice four heifers. We'll go get your champion, and then we'll reevaluate for reserve. Congratulations to our division champion out of class number five, Willow Fields, exhibiting KLD Coco 356LET. And also out of class number five, our reserve division champion, Jace Cunningham, exhibiting JLC My Lady Clementine. Congratulations to our division champions in our junior heifer calf division. At this time, we'll bring in class number seven, our first class of senior heifer calves. Entering the ring, class number seven, calves born November 1st through December 11th, 2022. We welcome you to visit our extensive trade show throughout the fairgrounds. Vendors are located in Barn 3 and the Super Barn. Whether it's a new outfit, vendors are new outfit or livestock equipment or the latest gadget, our vendors truly have it all.
Another set of nice cattle here. We get to the top of this one. We're going to use Young Man's Heifer to win the class. And these are two good heifers. Different in their type and kind. Boy, this one gives you a look. This is a flashy heifer. She's up-headed. She's built right. Good looking. Structure uh, on this one is certainly, she's just more sound when you compare to that heifer in second. This one is softer pasture, and she hits her stride. She moves around the ring real nice. Gives you a heck of a look. If you like the depth of body and the power, then you'd probably like that heifer in second. And that's what we like about her as well. She is deeper in her heart and her flank uh, compared to the heifer that wins the class. She's more boldly sprung. Uh, there's no question about it. She's not quite as neat and tidy right there in the way that her front end is designed. And when they get this one on the move, you'll kind of watch her uh, on those pasterns. Not quite as soft, not quite as correct as that heifer that moves out uh, ahead of her. But this is a rugged one. She's powerful and good looking. Nice female. We like the heifer with the young man in the plaid there in third as well. This is this is a nice female. She's a little more downheaded, a little shorter neck. She tends to drop those pins just ever so slightly on the move. Nicely presented female and certainly well shown by this young man. Young lady over here with sparkly show stick. Uh, this this heifer is nice looking. Okay, she's she's good fronted. She's just a heifer that doesn't have quite as much body and power as you compare to those above her. Certainly that one that stood directly above her, but a good looking female there to, to come next. Big, powerful, broody one here with a young man. Uh, this is a calf that if we could just kind of clean up that design a little bit. She's got some navel. She has some chest, some dewlap, but a powerful, rugged, broody one. We just like to make her a little better looking on the profile, but a nice female. Young lady rounding out the class just gives up some power and performance compared to that heifer above her. Is she is she a little sleeker neck? Yes, she is, but just gives up too much performance for us to, to go any higher today. Results from our first class of senior heifer calves, class number seven, first place, Copeland Bufford, exhibiting Ella Maple Syrup, 2014. Second place, Iva Jean, exhibiting Miss CD's Mary Lou E.T. Third place is Cade Bruce. Fourth place is Taryn Garza. And fifth is Zane Skinner. And in sixth place, Ava Cordell. Now entering the ring is class number six, calves born from October Excuse me, class number eight, calves born from October 17th to October 30th of 2022.
a good trio of heifers out here. And again, one of the, with some differences, is there a heifer that's just perfect? Uh, maybe not, but there's certainly some give and takes here. And we like the look of this heifer that leads off the class. This is the flashy one. This is the one that has some eye appeal and is nicely balanced. She comes out here and gives you a really good look once you get her set up there on the profile. Could this one be a bit stouter? She could be. We'd like to maybe draw her down in her flank just a touch. Uh, we could help this one on the move a little as well. But, boy, getting her parked, she is the good-looking one of the trio and and certainly deserves to to win this class. If you like a pretty powerful one, uh, like this heifer in second, long-bodied, uh, one that really, if we could change her, we'd just like to elevate those pins a little. That length of body in some cases is a disadvantage to her out here because she tends to get a little weak in her top on the move. But uh, a long-bodied, stout, rugged kind of female that has some bone and some power about her, a good place to be second. Young man's heifer there in third. Maybe she's sort of in the middle of those other two relative to power, relative to balance. Uh, we think this heifer is just a little finer bone. She struggles just a little bit in terms of structure as you evaluate her on the move. Some of that just might be her being feisty on the halter, but the young man is hustling out of here and doing a good job showing her. Congratulations to all. Results from class number eight in first place, McKenna Camp exhibiting KLD Kit's Dream, 477 KET. In second place, Kaylee J. Duty exhibiting CBD Miss Minnie Moo. And in third place, Jet Gross. Now entering the ring is class number nine. Cav is born from August 1st through September 26th of Farm Credit Associations of Oklahoma is a silver sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. The weather, cattle markets, and input costs can be uncertain, but when you do business with Farm Credit, you can be certain that you will receive top-notch customer service from our experienced loan officers who know agriculture. Farm Credit Associations of Oklahoma encompasses three associations, and we have been investing in agriculture in rural communities since 1916. Call or stop by one of our offices today.
really logical place to start here is a young lady with effort that uh, wins the class, comes out here with one that's just so nicely balanced. She's deep bodied. She's nice neck. She's structurally sound. Um, not a whole lot you need to say about this one. She pretty much dominates this class and, and wins it handily. There is something to talk about when you get into two and three. Boy, there's differences here. And uh, we really had to put our emphasis on structure. And that's why the heifer that uh, lands in second has a structural advantage in terms of correctness compared to that heifer there that stands in third. We think she's got a bit more sweep to her rib as well. She's not quite as long bodied. She might not be quite as long fronted either. And I'd, I'd say uh, in fairness, we might even be giving up a little muscle using this one. But, uh, but in terms of structure, she's just a little better than that heifer that stands third. There's some things you can like about this one third once she gets parked. But boy, when you watch her on the move, she really struggles right there out of her hip and uh, has some challenges in her front end as well. And uh, we just can't get, get this one any higher uh, because of that. Young lady here in pink, uh, this is a stout, rugged one. Boy, you get on top of this one and she's just wide based. She's stout. She's rugged. Does she have that kind of wow factor in terms of her front end and I, and I appeal? No, we'd like to elongate her head and just add some femininity there, but, uh, but a stout rugged one that uh, she's done a bang up job showing and then rounding out the class. Another half that's similar in terms of, of, of design. She's powerful. She's wide just to like to see some more balance and some, some eye appeal in that one. Results from class number nine. In first place, Ivy Fields exhibiting FLH Hot Chick 101K. Second place, McKenna Camp exhibiting FCC Queen Elizabeth. In third place, Harley Holman. Fourth place, Emberly Gross. And in fifth place, Emberly Danson. Excuse me, Bailey Danson. This time we'll bring in our class winners to exhibit for, to show for our reserve champion and reserve champion senior heifer calf.
fun when you get these class winners out here because uh, there there were some differences out there and there were some heifers that kind of dominated their classes and so then you get them out here and and start to compare them and boy those differences uh, really become evident and we will maybe just talk through these three a little bit uh, if you like the one that's sort of out there in terms of style and and flair and pizzazz and wow factor uh, this heifer right here in front of us that the young man has is is really good I mean, she's she's level top. She's one of the sounder females that we've seen today. She's up headed and nice necked. Um, just really a good looking female. She isn't the most powerful one out here. And uh, if we could maybe work on this one, we'd like to maybe just build a little more true flank and dimension into her. But uh, uh, this is a good heifer, good looking on the on the on the outer edge there with Wow Factor. Uh, just a nice female. That heifer there in in, in the second position or the second class in this division good heifer this one is level top she's clean chested gives you a nice look has some sweep there to her belly maybe gives up some performance when you compare to those uh, heifers on either side of her but a good looking one to stand out there as your class winner maybe more of a traditional one here in this third third spot uh, what you really like about this heifer is that added dimension that depth of heart that depth of flank how pulled apart she is in her rib cage uh, this one's a little shorter coupled as you compare to those other two and uh, and maybe she just gets down in her pins just ever so slightly but this is a broody powerful one that uh, if you had to find one in here that looked like a cow uh, i'd say that'd be the one so um, there's some differences in here you could go slap one with some wow factor or you can kind of slap the maternal one that's a uh, cowie and and uh, we'll let you pick your favorite and uh, and we'll go make the hard decision and pick ours Congratulations to Ivy Fields out of class number nine, exhibiting our senior heifer calf division champion. Exhibiting FLH Hot Chick 101K. And congratulations to Copeland Bufford, exhibiting Ella Maple Syrup 2014. Exhibiting our reserve champion, Senior Heifer Calf, in our Senior Heifer Calf division. At this time, we'll bring in class number 10. First class, first and only class of our intermediate female division. The winner of this class will be our champion, and in second place will be reserve champion in our intermediate female division. I know, I had my phone up and I just kept seeing all the dust hit it. Oh.
Tough top pair here, and there's some differences. We're going to leave them like they stand. Uh, and I'll tell you what, if you want the cowie broody one and the big-bellied one, you, you start where we did. Uh, this this is a female that is, is just really nice in terms of cow power. This is a real functional kind of a female. She's sound when she moves out. She's the biggest-bodied one in this class. She's level-hipped. She gives up just a little bit of look when you compare her to that heifer there in second. And I'll be the first to admit that. But just in terms of power and body and functionality, we, we really appreciate this one. I tell you what, if you want a good looking one that is really up there, cool through her neck, you, you're going to like this heifer. She's presented nice too. And uh, I, I think it does give her some additional wow factor just there in terms of it, hair and her clip job. Get this heifer on the move. She wants to just, you know, fall apart there in her top line just a little bit, drop her pins, get a little weak behind her shoulder. Some of that's probably just a struggle on the halter, but this is a big bone, stout kind of stout kind of heifer. Not near as much rib in this heifer. She's not she's not soft enough bellied for us, but uh, I'll tell you what, this is a good looking one. And if you wanted to start here, I could see why. Uh, we just need more body and more belly, and uh, we just need her to hold her top together better on the move. As you roll down into these next two, nice heifers here. And the young man brings a brings a calf that is uh, nicely shown and nicely presented. Uh, certainly gives up that extension of, of front end of the heifer there in the second hole has. But uh, this is a good one. Uh, she's a bit narrower there at her pins when you compare her to those two above her. But uh, young man's done a heck of a job showing her. And she's put together awfully nice. Heifer here in four. Boy, this is one that in terms of just muscle, uh, this heifer's got it going on. This is a stout, heavy muscled kind of a heifer. If you could change this one, we just like to free her up in terms of flexibility on the move, maybe alter that hawk design ever so slightly. This is the heifer that has the most chest uh, when you compare to those four. And if we could just lean her up there in her neck and chest a bit, we'd like to do that. But a, a nice, powerful, heavy muscled heifer to be four. Well, congratulations to our intermediate female division champion, Jet Gross exhibiting KKTG Disco, second place and reserve champion Willow Fields, in third place Ber Bennett Brand, and in fourth place Harley Holman. At this time, we'll bring in class number eleven, our first and only class of spring yearling females. Nice pair of heifers here, and I'm told this will be a division as well. So we have a champion and a reserve division standing out here. 
And boy, you don't have to judge cattle to be able to know they're, these two are not alike. And uh, there's some differences here, and we should talk about them. We're going to use the young lady in the red sweater there to win the division. We know there's less of this heifer. But just in terms of pure, pure quality, um, this one wins the class. This is a really nice extended heifer in terms of femininity. She's ultra fresh in terms of her presentation. No, no extra grease on this one whatsoever. Big bodied, level hipped. This might be the soundest heifer we've seen all day just relative to cushion on those rear pasterns and her ability to kind of float out here in the, in the ring. Very nice heifer to be champion. Wow, look at this one here in second in the in the reserve spot. This is a big, powerful, broody kind of a heifer. There's lots of muscle in this one. There's lots of body in her. You know, if we could change her, it's just sort of the eye appeal things. She's got a little navel we'd like to clean up. She's pushing plenty of chest. Love to kind of clean up that new lap and make her more extended and more feminine through her front end. But just in terms of cow power and broodiness, this one, uh, really, really good. Um, a nice pair of heifers to be champion in reserve. Congratulations. Well, congratulations to our division champion, Amy Kate Barato, exhibiting MCC Knocks Your Socks Off. And in second place, your reserve division champion, Riley White, exhibiting KLD Cricket 074K ET. Now showing class number 12. Well, when this man hit the ring, I guess everybody else scratched. So congratulations for winning your division here, a single entry. Uh, but this is a good single entry, folks, and they're not always that way. But this one comes out here, and this is a nice heifer. Uh, nicely balanced. She's powerful, big body, level hips, sound enough. You know, we'd like to see this heifer maybe just a tick fresher, and that's not easy to do at this stage of their life. I mean, sometimes these kind of heifers, once you get them bred, will – get fat looking at feed and uh, but if we could change this one we just like to clean her up there in her chest and and, and just freshen her up there in her front end but that's a really good heifer uh, to to come out here and win this division congratulations to our junior yearling female division champion ben eddy exhibiting ella 701 kit kat 2002 et
this time we will bring in all of our division champions to show for grand and reserve grand champion mini herford female Worm Flooring Systems is a bronze sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. Worm Flooring Systems, we eliminate rubber mats. Never hassle with big, heavy, nasty rubber mats again. Worm Flooring is a permanent rubber flooring that is slip resistant and cushioned for your animal's safety. Worm permanently seals your trailer floor and protects from any corrosion. Never pull a rubber mat again. All the merch in one spot. Swing by the Cattlemen's Collection located in the Super Barn for all your official Cattlemen's Congress merchandise. The collection is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. Alltech is a gold sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. The Alltech family of companies, including Hubbard Feeds, makers of Showrite, and Ridley Block Operations, makers of Crystalex, are proud supporters of the Cattlemen's Congress. We want to congratulate all of you on your hard work in preparing for this event. We are proud to work together in our commitment in helping the youth engage in agriculture, reach their animals' fullest potential in and out of the show ring.
folks. Well, welcome to the Grand Drive here in the in the Mini Hereford Show. And uh, first of all, I want to just uh, say thank you to uh, Cattlemen's Congress for the opportunity to to do this, and uh, and thanks to the the Mini Hereford breeders for for allowing uh, me to do this as well. Um, this is a special opportunity in addition. I have my daughter out here today, and that was not necessarily planned, but uh, this morning uh, we decided that uh, maybe I could use a little help. And so uh, it's certainly a, a neat opportunity uh, for me to bring Fallon out here and, and get to do this here in Oklahoma. Uh, I was not uh, planning, of course, last week to, to mention this in, in, the, in the grand speech, but uh, I think it has to has to be said. Uh, there's a lot of heavy hearts in this building this week, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we lost our, our our leader and our titan, Gerald Callahan. And I can promise you, this event would not exist without Gerald. And uh, those of you that work on the staff, um, your leader would expect us to power on. Um, he would expect nothing less than perfection from all of us. And that's what we're here to do over the course of the next week is uh, is pull off one hell of a show. And uh, and I got to tell you, he was a mentor to me. And and if you've been in the, the cattle business and the beef business more than five minutes, you have been influenced in one way or another by Gerald Callahan, even if you don't know it. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be missed and uh, the legacy will live on. Now to these cattle. This has been fun. And uh, I got to admit, this is the first time I've evaluated many Herefords, and if you're a mini Hereford breeder, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, why the heck did we get this dude then? But this has been fun, and I'll tell you what, what, we, what I really appreciate about it is it seems to be a team sport, and, uh, and showing cattle is a team sport, and it's certainly a family affair, and I just mentioned I have my daughter out here. My wife is at home getting cattle ready for the Denver Stock Show. She'll be here later this week as we'll show some Hereford cattle that are already here and then and then have cattle in Denver. So it's a family affair at our house as well. And I just really think it's cool that we've got people out here helping these young kids. And, and what, a, what a great way to get this thing started. A lot of tremendous cattle. And for those of, the pe those of you that are behind the scenes getting these things clipped and broke and put together today, um, my hat's off to you as well. We're not going to talk about all these, um, but the, there are some tremendous cattle out here. Um, there are certainly some differences. I'm all the way from a calf, and if a calf were to win today, I'd say, gosh, when I'm showing these things, I sure hate it when a calf wins, unless I'm the person holding it, and we've won with a calf. That's kind of fun. When you have a big bred heifer like this uh, young man's, the last thing you want to do is get beat by a heifer calf. And then you've got all these in between that are all so good. And uh, just a tremendous set of cattle, better set of kids and exhibitors and sportsmanship and professionalism out here. We have three that we really like. And let's just admit it. We have three. And uh, and we're going to kind of, you know, sort through that in our heads here. I think we've agreed on where we're going to go uh, to win. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm a big picture guy. And so I'm once in a while better check with my daughter and just make sure that uh, I'm not missing anything, but uh, good cattle. We're excited to go out here and slap you a champion. And then uh, we'll spend a little time on reserve because like I said, there's, there's a couple of them in contention. Well, congratulations to our miniature Hereford female grand champion exhibited by Ivy Fields. KLD Ivory 331LET.
Our reserve grand champion, miniature Hereford female, comes to us from class number 11. Emmy Kate Barato exhibiting MCC knocks your socks off. In the, ring, in the ring now is class number one of Prospect Steers, or one and only class of Prospect Steers. The winner of this class will be champion, and second place will be reserve champion prospect. There are four heads.
Well, folks, this is our prospect steer division, and there's four good calves out here. And uh, we're going to talk about the differences here before we just go grab your champion, because there are some. Um, I asked this young man just to lead his steer for me one more time. I just really needed to kind of see him on the move there once more, and he did that for me. And so we'll maybe talk about his his calf first. Here's the stoutest one in the class, folks. This is the biggest top, biggest ended steer. He's neat up there through his front end. This one has got some wow factor uh, in terms of getting him put together. His hair coat's spot on. He's clipped right. He's, he's dressed right. I mean, just this is a good-looking sucker right here. On the move is where this one gets me. Uh, the, I just want to see more flexibility in this steer. He's so straight and vertical in the way his shoulder is designed that it really makes it tough for him to get around this ring. And even there parked, he wants to get up there in his top, and that's all related to the way that uh, that skeleton is built. But just in terms of stoutness and, and cool factor, he's got it going on. The, the young lady's steer that uh, is up there in front of him, I'm going to admit this one's not quite as powerful up there over his top and his loin edge. He's a little bit flatter made there in his stifle, just not as quite as much muscle. He is longer sided. He is longer fronted. And this and this steer excels the class in terms of structure. You, if you use that one, you'd give up some muscle um, and, you, and you'd put your emphasis on structure. That's what we're going to do today. He'll be your champion prospect. The young man in the black hat will be reserved. Two nice cattle down here in third and four as we round out the class. Young man told me this is his first time in the show ring, and uh, and he smiled at me and said he was having fun. So I, I'm looking forward to his next time out here, and he's he's done a bang-up job. Good steer. This calf's got some meat. He's got some muscle. He's powerful. Probably moves a little better in that steer in second. He's a little bit more PC when you evaluate him right there behind his shoulder, right there at his loin junction. But uh, But a nice calf, and whoever put this one together did a nice job. Young lady is out here hustling, and she crashed and burned a little while ago, but she's still working hard and uh, and having a good time. A flatter made calf that just uh, probably gives up some performance when you compare them to the ones above him. But boy, she's working hard, and look forward to to seeing her career out here with these cattle. Well, congratulations to our champion prospect steer, exhibited by Paisley Weatherly. Reserve champion is Corbin Pettigrew. Third in that class is Hudson Peck, and in fourth place is Emberly Gross. At this time, we'll bring in our first class of market steers. Cattlemen's Congress is more than just a livestock show. It's a meeting place for the entire cattle industry. We'd like to welcome our international guests and invite our exhibitors to join our guests in the international loft located in the upper north end of the Jim Nork Arena.
four good steers to start out this. Uh, I think this we call these the market steers here in this division, and uh, a lot of quality in this calf that uh, comes out here first. This is the one that that really displays a tremendous amount of balance and and really appreciate the design of a calf like this. Get him on the profile, and he really puts himself together. And then and then evaluate the things that matter in terms of a market steer. Does he have muscle? He does. He has probably more shape in his lower quarter than any other calf out here. Um, get up over his top, and he's ultra wide. Uh, love the way that this one is just constructed just in terms of balance and eye appeal. There's a couple of calves that could be a little bit wider pinned than this one is, but this is the calf that combines all those things just in terms of muscle, power, structure, and an eye appeal and balance uh, in a show steer to win the class. So congratulations, young lady. Next young man pulling out. This, this is a highly presented steer, really a longer bodied kind of a calf uh, than that than the steer that wins he gives up some muscle down there in the in the lower portion of his quarter compared to the one that wins he probably gives up just a little bit of that easy feeding look and sweep to his belly that that calf that beats him has but this is a rugged one good looking presented nicely good steer to be second and i'll tell you what it uh, it's a tight pair here between second and third this is another really good calf uh, this one probably just in terms of bal balance is maybe a little bit heavier there in, in, in this front one third. He's probably one that's a little bit shallower made relative to his flank and his center portion of his body. But this is a good looking steer. He's up headed. And this, as time comes along and this one fills in in his flank, uh, I think this will be a contender. So very nice calf. And then our calf in the fourth hole. Again, this is another one. This calf's got some muscle to him. He has some sweep to his belly and the center portion of his body. He tends to get up under himself a little bit on the move and probably the calf in terms of structure that uh, that falls a little short of those cattle ahead of him. But that's a good steer, has a lot of the right pieces. Well, congr congr congratulations to our class winner and class number one of our market steers. Class first place, Finley A. Buckles. Second place, Deacon James. Third place, also Deacon James. And in fourth place, Scarlett Cowley. This time, we'll bring in our second class of market steers. Flex is a proud gold level sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress and is committed to partnering with cattlemen and women to move the industry forward, working together shoot side and on the ranch. Learn more about All Flex tools and innovative products at allflexusa.com.
Obob is now America's largest ranch equipment dealer. From pipe fencing and gates to livestock trailers and equipment, GoBob has over 50 squeeze chutes in stock at all times. From manual to hydraulic, from AeroQuip to Pearson. One place, many options. GoBob, America's ranch equipment dealer.
Well, folks, we've turned up the heat here, and this is really a, a, a tremendous pair of steers. And I think you could go either way. There's some differences here that we could talk about. Uh, wanted to give these two young men the opportunity to kind of get these things put together because they are awfully good. And neither one of them are really acting perfect. And we just wanted to give them both a chance to try to get them stopped and try to get them collected and, and put together. Two very, very good steers. Let's let's talk about them a little bit. The young man here in the green shirt, highly presented steer. This one just comes out here and just grabs your attention. When you get to watch this steer on the move, he just is so good in the way that he holds his top line together. He's so good. They're right behind his shoulder. He's deeper and, and probably truer made relative to his heart girth and his flank. He's got lots of muscle. Um, I would say that the, the advantage and expression of muscle comes from the steer behind him, but there's plenty of muscle in that calf. Nice balance, nice eye appeal. Get your hands on him. I'm not here to say that this is the end point for these cattle, but this is a steer that's laying on plenty of finish from top to bottom and still keeps it together in that sort of trim made show steer package. Young man's uh, steer here. This is the powerful one. Boy, expression of muscle deluxe in this calf. He's just pulled apart there. He's bold sprung, a lot of shape there to his rear quarter. I think the fitters and I both agree this calf ought to have a little more flank in him. And if we could just draw him down a little bit deeper there, and I think over time as he starts to lay on some condition there from top to bottom, he'll do that. Good looking steer. Young man's done a bang up job showing him. He wants to get up in his top ever so slightly, both on the standstill, especially on the move. And I think some of that's just him fighting the halter on the move too. Big boned, rugged, good looking. I mean, this is a tremendous pair of steers that uh, certainly warrant your round of applause. We had some discussion back and forth, and uh, one thing that I'm not uh, in love with is showing steers, but something my daughter is in love with is showing steers, so she probably looks at more of these things than, than, than I do, but uh, we've kind of come to the conclusion that there's just one that hits pretty hard as, uh, as he walked in the ring, and we have just continued to like him, and uh, we'll let her go slap that champion steer, and uh, then we'll get you your reserve. Excuse me. There's is there one more class, Chad? Okay, we got to come back for champions. Sorry, class winner. So go do that, Fallon. First and second. And as we round out this class, this, this next year coming in third is no slouch, folks. This is a meaty calf. He's big-ended, lots of muscle, put together nicely in terms of presentation today. Gives up just a little bit of that wow factor when you compare him to those those first two. I mean, they, they but, but take nothing away from a really good steer here that uh, has plenty of power and performance in him. Young lady's calf here with the black tag. This is just a really complete, moderate little steer, has enough muscle, has enough power to him. You know, on the move, we'd like to give this one just a bit more flexibility, but uh, nice looking steer, highly presented today, good calf. Young man coming out here in the fourth hole. Boy, this was a deep class, wasn't it, Tom? I mean, this is a good steer here as well. This is one we could just maybe trim him up as you evaluate that front end. He gets a little bit lower chested and maybe not quite as ideal up there as you analyze his front end. And then just in terms of hawk design, this is a calf that tends to get up under himself and drop his pins a little. Appreciate the muscle and the volume and the power in this one. Results from class two of our market steer show in first place, Kit Pettigrew. In second place, Hendrix Wilson. In third place, Finley A. Buckholz. Fourth, Riley White. And in fifth place, Ryder Cowley. At this time, we'll bring in our class winners to show for champion and reserve champion Marcus Steer in our miniature Hereford show.
Correction from class two. Class winner was Hendrix Wilson, and in second place was Kit Pettigrew. CCI Live Sales and Marketing is proud to be a silver sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. Join us online for sales at www.cci.live and visit our booth in the trade show. Well, folks, as we wind down the steer show here and uh, get to our champion drive on the market steers, uh, four good steers out here representing this breed. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of quality, and uh, I should have expected that here at the Cattlemen's Congress, but uh, there's some tremendous steers out here. Uh, there's one that uh, that we sure do like a lot, and I, I appreciate the, all the work that these young kids have, have done getting these presented to us. And we just went and had a chat about hair coat and who's been brushing and blowing on these things. And, and whoever it is has done a bang-up job and uh, highly presented, tremendous cattle. We're not going to talk about them a whole lot. Uh, I'm going to send Fallon out here, and she's going to slap her favorite one, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get a reserve picked as well. But let's start with our champion. Well, congratulations to our champion market steer exhibited by Hendrix Wilson. Well, that reserve uh, or, or second class comes out and, and fills that hole in contention for reserve here. And, and again, two good cattle. And uh, boy, we like this one that won that first class uh, a lot. I mean, that was a that was a good steer, so nicely balanced, so good, good fronted and good looking. But uh, we just can't separate those two big steers. And so we're going to use a young man for reserve champion. Congratulations. Also at a class two, our reserve champion market steer, exhibited by Kit Pettigrew. Congratulations. At this time, we'll take a quick picture break for our judge to take pictures with our champions and reserve champions. Following that, we will begin showmanship, starting with pre-junior,
Oklahoma Steel & Wire is a bronze-level sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. Family-owned and operated since 1979, OK Brand embraces the importance of a solid future for the cattle industry. We appreciate and trust the men and women who are inspired to drive, the, drive it forward each and every day. For that, we thank you. OK Brand Fencing. Ask for us by name at your prefer, preferred farm and ranch dealer.
It's time we'll begin our junior, our pre-junior showmanship contest for our miniature Herford show. We have two heats in our pre-junior division. The pre-junior division is ages three through seven as of January 1 of 2023. Oklahoma Beef Consultants is a bronze level sponsor of the Cattlemen's Congress. OBC is a group of veterinarians and industry professionals committed to bringing value added service to beef cattle producers across the country. From the building blocks of animal husbandry to the vast array of new technologies, our team strives to develop management strategies which create a positive impact on your business. Pick up your official Cattlemen's Congress merchandise from the Cattlemen's Collection Store located in the Super Barn near the Sale Arena. The collection is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily.
I'd like to take this time to reintroduce our judges for you today. Brad and Fallon Gore from Madras, Oregon. Brad is the CEO of Veterinary Services Incorporated. The two are lifetime cattle breeders, raising Angus, Hereford, Simmental, and Charlay cattle, and host an annual heifer sale each September called the Crown Jewel Event. Both Brad and Fallon have won the national showmanship titles, Brad with Simmental's and Fallon with Hereford's. They have raised or exhibited national champions at each of the major shows across the country, including Denver, Kansas City, Louisville, and Fort Worth. Let's put our hands together and show our appreciation to Brad and Fallon Gore. Ladies and gentlemen, it sure is fun when we get showmanship out here and the kids at this age. And and I think uh, it's just a compliment to you as breeders uh, the, to put cattle together that you can send kids out that are this size and this age and, and really uh, let them get some introduction to the cattle business. And uh, my hat's off to the families and the breeders that, that made that happen. Showmanship is, is challenging to judge, and uh, we've been judging showmanship since these kids walked in with their heifers and steers today. So we've already seen them all, and we've probably had formed some opinions, and we come out here, and and uh, and those opinions have really held true in terms of the kids that can get their cattle kind of stuck and head up and feet in the right position and have some occasional eye contact with us. And at this age, you know, good grief, we're, we're not asking for perfection. We just want to start getting the little things done. And, and so we can get these guys uh, rolling up to the next steps of their career. But congratulations to each and every one of you young people. You've done a tremendous job all day long. Fallon is going to go uh, shake four hands, and we'd like four of you to come back uh, for the championship drive. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Good job. Now entering the ring is our second heat of pre-junior showmen. At the conclusion of this heat, we'll bring back those held from the first heat 
to compete in our pre-junior showmanship drive.